Good day everyone. Today we're diving into the world of inventory management and leveraging the power of the Microsoft Power Platform to streamline the entire process. My presentation revolves around inventory management system using Power Platform. Now let's address the problem of inventory management that is struggling to keep track of inventory levels and reorder points. This can lead to two critical issues. Overstocking which happens when a business holds more inventory than it can reasonably sell or use within a specific time frame. This ties up capital and storage space. And stockouts, which is when a business runs out of a product or item that customers want to purchase. In this way, you can lose sales and potential customers. So what's the solution? We're going to create an inventory management app using Power Apps. Let's break it down. In the first screen, the this screen will display all the stores products and their details but it doesn't stop there you can also add new products to the inventory and, and edit existing records making product management a breeze second screen will be all about tracking previous transactions it will also let you add new transactions seamlessly no more manual record keeping headaches now that we know the problem and the solution, let's talk tech. Here are the main technologies that we'll be using. Microsoft Dataverse. This is a trusted database platform, integrated with Power Apps and Power Platform, perfect for storing and managing all our inventory data. We can also use other platforms such as Excel and SharePoint. Power Apps, which is the tool we will use to create our intuitive, user-friendly inventory management application and Power Automate, which is a tool that will be used to automate notifying the staff about reorder points. Looking ahead, we can expand our capabilities by integrating Power BI. This will take our inventory management to the next level by providing advanced analytics and insights. We can also use Power Automate to automate many of the tasks that we are still manually completing. With that said, let's dive into Power Apps and see how we can turn this vision into reality. Now, we have to go to make.powerapps.com and here we are presented with the Power Apps interface. We have a list of options that we can use to create our app. On the Create tab, we can start from a blank app. This opens a blank canvas for us to be able to add our own data and also customize the screens on how we would like it to look. We also have a wide range of options such as using Dataverse, SharePoint, Excel, SQL, Image, and Figma. And this will allow Power Apps to create a three-screen app using your data. The three screens that will be created is a browse screen, a display screen, and an edit screen. The browse screen, which will allow us to view the data, the dis to view all the data in a gallery, the display data, which will allow us to open a certain item and display all the information regarding it and then the edits which will open a screen to allow us to edit and modify the information that's in the gallery we also have the learn tab which has how to articles courses and videos to practice with power apps for today's example we'll use copilot Copilot is an AI tool that allows us to describe what we need in plain English. This gives you the opportunity to describe what type of app you need and what data the app should collect. So, we will have to give Copilot a prompt. The prompt that we will use today is to ask Copilot to create an inventory management app. The reason Copilot gives us a table or is trying to create a table at the moment is because all the data that will be in this table is what we will be looking at in our app. 
it will all be it will be in the screens on the app and it will also create a form for so that the users can fill out more information to add to the table now we could leave the table like this and it will create the app however we can also add more by asking copilot to to de by describing to copilot what we want to be changed now since in inventory management we do want to note when we would need to reorder i will ask copilot to add a column for the reorder point so they also have suggestions here which you could use to help in how you create your prompts so you will ask copilot to add a column for the reorder point And copilot has created so so far on our table we have the ID of the product the name of the product the current quantity that the product has the price the category the location the status for example if it's available or out of stock the date added and then the reorder point the reorder point will now be able to allow us to, if the stock amount goes below the reorder point, we can create a flow to let to notify the owners that the stock has to be reordered. We can now go and create our app. However, I have created the app and I have made some changes, so we'll open the app that I have created. Now, using the information that Power, the Copilot has created for us, we were able to create an inventory management screen. Here, we have a gallery that allows us to view all the records in the table. For example, the bread, the apple, and the banana. All the records that are in the table, we have created a gallery to view it all. We also have a, a form that allows us to display full in in full what the items in the table has we can also edit the screen edit the record for example if you want to make a change to the description or how much quantity there is we can do that or we can delete it i also created a second screen called inventory transactions and here the user can view all the transactions that was made so they're able to see whether it was a sale or a purchase they're able to see the quantity that was sold and the unit price at the time and the total price of total amount of the transaction to take this further we can also uh, we can also create a flow so that when the reorder point is when the quantity is lower than the reorder point for example for the bread we we can create a flow that it will notify the owner that they need to reorder this is the flow that i created so you will first use when a row is added modified or deleted there is many ways to create flows in Power Automate and if you are new in Power Automate you could also try to use Copilot. You could describe exactly what you want your flow to do and Copilot will give a list of options and different types of flows that you could use. Then you could use either of any of the options and you could modify it to suit your problem. Here. I use a when a row is added, modified, or deleted trigger. And I am looking at the inventory management table, which is the first table. 
Now we are trying to find out when the reorder point is greater than the quantity. If the reorder point is greater than the quantity, we want to post a message to the user that the specific product name is due for reorder. When we do that, it will send a message in Microsoft Teams as saying that bread is due for reorder and the reorder point has been reached. This will notify the owner and they will be able to they will be able to reorder as needed. And that is the end of my demo. Thank you.